Well, so many people have suffered financially over the last few months, and today we're tackling ways to save for your next emergency. Joining us is financial expert and author of Clever Girl Finance, Grow Your Money, Bola Shakumbi. Bola, great to have you with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. I can't, I, I just, I don't have the capacity to think of another emergency. I know. Uh, but, but, but we must, we must plan practically. Where does one start? To yeah, plan so for it's all money. about being prepared. And the first thing you want to do is open up a designated account to mm -hmm. save for emergencies. And it's a good idea to put this account at a bank that's separate from where you do your day-to-day -day transactions, so you're not tempted to spend that money. Um, you want to automate your deposits if possible. And I would also, also suggest opting out of the debit card or the checks as well, so that you don't get tempted to spend that money, because sometimes self-discipline can be a struggle for many. All, all the time. All the time <laughs> around here. Uh, do you have, it's always good to know sort of a percentage or an amount or a number, a mile marker of what to save. Do you have an amount? Yes, so we are navigating through a pandemic, which is just not normal times right now. And so it's a good idea to have at least six months of your core living expenses put aside. So this is not the nice to haves or the splurges. This is just money so that you can survive through a difficult season. So that would cover paying for your food, for housing, core utilities, medicines, transportations. That's what you want to think about. And if that six month just seems really overwhelming, then focus on saving your first thousand dollars because that can cover basic emergencies as well. And so so we're saving that first thousand dollars and and more as time goes on yes can we leverage that absolutely that's the whole idea of the emergency fund so if an emergency comes along then you have that money put aside and so you use it to get through the situation once you've gone past the emergency then you build that money saving that money back into your budget so that you can start to save and replenish the account over time. For some people, unfortunately, they may not have been able to save an emergency fund in time before an emergency, mm -hmm. and they may need to leverage debt. So if you find yourself in that position, take a deep breath and just be mindful of how much you're spending on debt. Once you get past your situation, um, create a plan to start to pay down that debt as quickly as possible. So how, you know, we, we hear so much about furloughs and people losing their jobs. Yes. Uh, how does someone save funds and create this emergency fund if they don't have a job right now? Yeah, it's all about, you know, if you are fortunate to be employed right now, building savings into your budget, making it a priority. If you are unemployed right now, you want to focus on reaching out to your service providers, to your creditors, and letting them know you're facing financial difficulty. Many of these lenders, many of these providers have programs in place that can help you navigate through the situation. But if you don't communicate, they don't know. There is no way for them to help you. I've talked to so many people who had a job or a business and they've had to pivot in the pandemic and start something else. Do you have ideas of ways to create income? Yeah, so I'm a huge fan of having multiple streams of income. That way, if you lose one stream, you're not completely devastated. So now is a great time to start thinking about what can I do to earn extra money? What skills do I have that I can monetize? Can I get a part-time job? Can I start a side hustle? And it's all about thinking about ways to bring money in, keeping in mind that in this season, there's no shame in working at a job below your skill set if you need that money to get by. And what do you think about DJing as a side hustle? <laughs> Great. <laughs> right? I mean, Jack and I are into it. <laughs> uh, for all the bonus tips, you can go to our website, livewithkellyandryan.com. It's a pleasure to meet you. Great stuff and very important right now. Thanks for being here. We'll be right back.